Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop tricks, we are going to see a nice trick how to make a gear in Photoshop and how to make it look like 3D gear. It will make your output a professional. Let me go to Photoshop directly without any waiting. Okay, we shall just create a new project 1000 by 1000 as usual. Create. We shall give it a white filling. Fit it on the screen. Then we are going to add a new guide layout, four by four, to be able to center our drawings. Okay. After that, we will add polygon from here. Okay. As we explained in the previous video and uh, post, I'm going to share to them. Uh, in the description, uh, when I click here, uh, my uh, my polygon will start from this point here and going like this to down and right uh, because this is the top left corner of the imaginary uh, square or imaginary uh, rectangle surrounding my uh, my polygon. Okay, so and when I click here, it will open uh, the creation of polygon tool. I'll select. The dimensions and uh, that's the number of sides uh, smooth corners that's the tips of the uh, polygon will be smooth it will be like star shaped and uh, will have smooth intent that's uh, between the tooth of the uh, star itself or the hands of the star the intent uh, side by 70 percent because it, this one is reduced almost by 50 percent uh, we had explained this in details and have, I've shown you the measures in our post uh, how, uh, from which point to which point this one is measured I'm making it 70% which is a big one because uh, due to the smooth intent it's uh, almost half or less than half ok so I say ok ok now is that how it looks uh, now I'm going to fill it for example with this blue color and I'm going to remove the outline Okay. After that, I'll go to uh, uh, oval selection. I'll start from the middle, drag it to the outside. Then, as we learned before in our previous videos, shift and click. Okay. Now it's centered and perfectly circular. Now I'm going to take it down till the uh, the length of the gear tooth that I like. If we say that this one is good for us, for example, we go down a little bit more. Okay. First, I remove the click, and then the shift and alt. I am having now a perfectly centered round uh, selection. I'm going to uh, inverse the, the selection. Okay, so select outside the the the, the tools uh, to select these areas to delete them. Okay, and I'm going to layer, rasterize my layer. Okay, and then press delete. Now I'm having a great gear. Okay, Control D. My gear is is done. Okay, now I need to make it hollow from the inside, for example. I'll show you a nice trick. This is also a practical example how to align two figures, regardless of uh, uh, tooth, uh, gear, uh, circle, square, whatever you are like. Okay, so we'll start with this, for example, this uh, oval shape. I'll make it like this. Usually, Shift Alt to make it perfectly. You can see it now, it's working perfectly uh, circular. Okay, I release the click first. And then the shift and alt. Now it's perfectly cir uh, circled. I'm going to fill it with uh, black, for example, and I'm going to remove the outline. Okay. After that, I will select the two layers for this ellipse and for this polygon from the side panel here, and I'll go to the selection tool. Now they are selected together. After that. I will go to these alignment tools as we explained in our previous video and post which will be shared in the description so you go to them you will see the detailed, detailed steps for this I am going uh, to center these two shapes together like this but I need to center to the, uh, uh, in the middle of, the, of my drawing or anywhere as you like it depends on you like I will show you a lot of work so first you will go like this ok then you go like this and then you go like this like this you have it in the center of the screen perfectly Okay, or, or the two shapes are centered together perfectly, regardless of their position on the screen, regardless of the guidelines. And even if you remove the guidelines, you will find them centered perfectly together. Okay, uh, after that, I will remove this. I stay on this layer, 
and then I will go to my shape selection tool okay I made the perfect selection for the circle I'll return again to the gear I'll be showing it okay and I'll be hiding this one and then I will press delete now I made my gear perfectly centered hollow okay uh, control D to remove the selection okay now if you like to place this gear perfectly in the center you can make control T now you can see the pos exact position of the center point so I can make this for example 500 just to that's another tip you like to know 500 delete because this one is 1000 by 1000 so I know it's a dimension so and I'm making to move to make this 500 so like this it's perfectly centered on uh, my drawing on my uh, canvas and it's the the whole the whole it's hollow perfectly from the inside if I like to give it uh, a little bit uh, 3d effect I'm going to uh, layer layer style pavel and impose okay uh, maybe it's better to decrease the size of the pebble it's looking a little bit weird if I go to 7 for example like this you can see it, it's coming with this shadow and this shadows from this side it giving it the, the shape of uh, as if it is a 3D uh, gear uh, you can change the direction of the angle of the light this light is 90 it's coming, uh, it's coming you can see the shadow is here so the light is coming directly from here uh, if you can, you can change it uh, either you can inverse from here directly so it's coming from the opposite direction or you can change if you like it to make it at an angle for example you can make this one uh, 60 degrees you can see the shadows the direction of the shadows uh, is different okay and then okay now we have an, a nice uh, 3d gear that you can use it in, in your drawings there's another one trick I will try to show it to you now so that we first disable this bevel and emboss from here okay now let me make uh, we try to make it as a 3d give it a complete 3d uh, effect now after we removed the uh, bevel and embos uh, uh, effect from here then I will go and make a selection okay and then I'll make a new layer by copy first from this layer okay so I'm having layer 2 then I'll delete it I'm going to again to my polygon one and then I'm going to select it again okay now it's perfectly selected after that I go to here 3d new extrusion from current selection okay now we have a 3d gear wait a moment to see it okay first if I rotate it from here okay now we can see your 3d gear coming perfect uh, I hope you had learned today a nice tip and trick uh, if you need uh, um, any more uh, such uh, beautiful content and tips to make uh, projects for you just uh, send us leave us some comments uh, subscribe uh, share the information like our videos and uh, we will continue giving you uh, these uh, great tricks in, in Photoshop that will help you to make great illustrations easily and quickly and in a few steps thank you very much